Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sybil with Sybil Travels and I'm here to give you all kinds of fun travel tips and advice on places to go and things to see and just experiences to have around the world. So if you're new here, welcome. Um, I'm really excited for you to be here and if you would, if you like my content, um, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate all of my subscribers and all the feedback you guys have been giving me. Um, and if you wanna see everything that happens right as it happens, please click that, click that little bell button so you'll be notified as soon as I post new information and new videos. Um, if you're returning, please, please, please engage with me. I would love to see uh, what you guys have found helpful. Um, I've posted quite a few cruise um, tips recently, cruise reviews, and today I'm really excited to post a new um, review of a resort in Cabo. Um, so I just got back from this resort about two weeks ago and I apologize for the delay. I've been trying to get my thoughts together, um, mainly because I'm just so excited about this resort. Um, several of you know that I've been to Playa del Carmen and Cancun recently and I've posted quite a few videos there. Well, this is on the other side of Mexico, more toward the California side. And um, if you haven't been to Los Cabos, you should definitely try it out. It's also known as Cabo San Lucas. Um, I will tell you that getting actually into the ocean there is a little bit more challenging. You have to find a specific beach that doesn't have super strong currents. And it is, um, it, it's not just everywhere. You can't just go out and get into the ocean there. It's, uh, the currents are crazy. So the resort that I went to and quite honestly absolutely loved is called the Marquis Los Cabos. Um, it is lo located in Cabo San Lucas. Um, which, as I mentioned before, is on the California side of Mexico, um, near Puerto Vallarta, Ensenada, if you've been to either of those places. Um, so I was there with a, a larger group. I think there were 50-ish of us there. Um, and this is a very small resort compared to some of the places I've been to recently. Um, but I honestly absolutely fell in love with this re resort. This is probably my top three resorts that I've ever been to. Um, first thing that they did absolutely well, um, because it's a little bit smaller, um, it has a little boutique type feel of a hotel and they are really, really great at their service. Based on my conversations um, with several of the managers there, they actually staff three staff members for every single guest. So that is quite a few staff members per guest and believe me, you can feel it. They are on top of everything. Um, they are ready and willing and able to help anything you might need. Um, even the managers uh, that I spoke to are, are really there um, focused on building that rapport with you and making you want to come back to their resort. And believe me, I want to go back. I'm, I've only been gone for two weeks and honestly, I would love to be there again right now. Um, second thing, this is adults only. So if you're planning on bringing your children, um, can't do that at this particular resort, but this would be a really great resort for honeymooners. This would be a great resort for a couple that just need some time together without the kids. Um, this would be a great resort for um, groups of people who are traveling as adults together. Um, we had a really great time. They have two really nice infinity pools on either side of the main level. Um, and then they have a really big pool in the very front of one of their restaurants. Honestly, when I first got there, I thought it was a fountain. Turns out it was a pool. And we had the best time there. Um, the staff were, were on top of everything and just re willing to give us any drink, any food item, anything that we asked for while we were just lounging in the pool. And what was so great about it is the way that the pools are set up, you feel like you're in, you're in the ocean. You feel like you're right there on the beach. Um, it's an infinity pool looking out right over the water. Um, and I'll, hopefully I have several pieces of footage actually showing the water. Um, it was like really, really windy and very wavy while we were there. And it was just beautiful. And the way that the rooms are set up, it was, um, you could hear the ocean sounds all night long, you just hear that crashing of the waves on the beach. And it was just really relaxing and really um, peaceful there. So I was really excited about this particular resort. Um, and I hope to get, get to go back to very soon. So the food. So as I've mentioned before, I'm not like a huge foodie. Um, 
while I like my food, I like it to be good, I'm not going to knock something off because of the food. Although I know a lot of people that give reviews, they do. Um, this one, I was really impressed with the food. I didn't find anything that I absolutely hated. Everything was seasoned appropriately. Um, I, I thought it was good. I would definitely go back and have the food there again. Um, I ordered room service one night as well. And um, the service and the food quality was, was top notch there as well. So as I mentioned, the rooms are just beautiful. So this particular resort is like many of the resorts in Cabo set kind of on the side of a cliff. So most all of the rooms have a really great view of the ocean. Um, I was on the second floor um, of the resort, which is actually higher up than um, the actual ground level, obviously, but it was still, you were still able to see some of the tops of the actual buildings, but that didn't hinder my view. It didn't hinder my experience in any way. Even the first floor, which has the concierge desk and the front desk, and which is where you actually come into the resort, the, the view there is absolutely stunning. And you'll see when you get to the actual, my walkthrough of the resort, how beautiful it is to actually drive up and walk out um, walk into this resort for the first time. Like the views are absolutely stunning. Definitely, definitely picture perfect. So while I love the resort, I do want to give you just some of the notes that I made. They're not really negatives in my opinion. Um, it's just things that can be worked on. Um, first thing, and this is kind of similar to all resorts that are near an ocean, the outdoor building maintenance, um, because of the salt water and the sea air and all of that good stuff, it does take quite a bit to maintain the outdoor um, surfaces just to make sure that they're really beautiful and if, if they're painted or whatever the case may be, that they're really um, kept in good uh, shape. Um, that, it's no different here. Um, yes, for the most part, this was really gorgeous on the outside. It just had a couple of areas that could be touched up with painting and just... Um, just maintained a little bit better so you have that really really luxury feel um the next thing and i mentioned it before um cabo in that area there's really no way to break the waves so the the waves break actually on the beach which means there's a really really strong current and tide so getting into the beach um you would have to be a super, super strong swimmer, and even that, I wouldn't necessarily recommend it. Um, and you'll see from the video just how strong the waves are breaking there on the beach. So um, you would mainly be in the pools if you're at this particular resort. They do have a beach area that's about a 10-minute walk away, and you can actually see it um, in a little cove just around on the right-hand side of the resort. Um, it didn't take long to get there. It was a very beautiful area. It just means that you're away from the resort and the amenities that are included there. Um, but like I said, in Cabo, that's kind of what you expect. So that wasn't a big downer for me. Um, I, the one thing I would recommend to the hotel, um, I think it would be really cool if one of their in infinity pools was an actual saltwater pool so that you feel, you already it already looks like you're in the ocean, but you actually feel like you're in the ocean because you have that salt water there. But that's just something I thought of when we were there. And then the last thing I'll mention, um, not, necessarily, not necessarily a negative, more of just a comment. Um, the price of the marquee is more on the luxury end of travel. So if you're looking for a very inexpensive way to travel, um, you want to go to somewhere that you're not spending a lot of money, this is probably not the resort for you. This is for like a special occasion if you're on the more conservative end of traveling or um, if you really love luxury places, this is absolutely top notch. Um, they have some beautiful villas that you can get. They're basically right on the beach. Um, you get complete unobstructed views, um, very large spaces um, in the, the villas. So if you're looking for that luxury piece, this is um, a great option for you. And if there's some really special occasion that you want to do something um, with your significant other or you have a group, um, this would be a great option for you. So I hope you guys enjoy the walkthrough. 
Um, if you have any questions about this resort or Cabo in general, or if you have any recommendations on things you would like to see, um, please, please, please feel free to drop some comments below. Um, I love to hear from you guys. I love to hear where, where you're going and what you want to hear about. Um, coming up really soon, I'm going to be starting a new series, um, starting a kind of a different chapter of my life that's still specifically about travel. Um, it's just traveling in a new way. So stay tuned for that, and I look forward to hearing from you guys. Talk to you soon.